Hey, it's Dr. Jack Wolfson, cardiologist, and I want to talk to you about intermittent fasting is heart healthy. Intermittent fasting is sweeping the nation, whether you're on paleo or you're going vegan or you're on keto. Intermittent fasting is heart healthy, and let me tell you a little more about it. So fasting does not mean eating fast food. That's obvious. And here these guys are, you know, from biblical times. And uh, they understood the importance of fasting even back then. In the Jewish religion, they do a 24-hour fast on Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, where they eat no water. Uh, they drink no water and they eat no food. I'm not into that. Uh, and I will tell you the best ways to fast as we come up. But uh, Ramadan, different religions uh, have different fasting methods. So it's been done for millennia. Cardiac benefits of intermittent fasting. I know this is exhaustive, but that's the cool thing is that fasting does so many fantastic things to your body. And let's just kind of run down some of these things. Weight loss, lowers blood pressure, lowers inflammation, improves blood sugar, improves lung function. Uh, the bottom left there, decreased smooth muscle cell proliferation. So coronary artery disease has to do a lot with those muscle cells inside of the arteries actually expanding and leading more inflammation and more recruitment of unhealthy cells. So let's avoid that. In the center, lowers total cholesterol, lower LDL cholesterol, increased LDL size, which is good, increased L uh, HDL number. And the key here, HDL function improves with intermittent fasting. HDL function is really one of the holy grails to cardiac health. And then, of course, lower triglycerides. Increased heart rate variability, top right heart rate variability. The higher your heart rate variability is, the lower your risk of dying. That's good news. More markers and hormones that have to do with inflammation. Increased parasympathetic tone helps keep your heart rate nice and slow. Balances off sympathetic and parasympathetic balance. Increased endothelial function when the lining of your blood vessels, those cells that line them function better, blood flows better, including to those areas that are so important to men wink, wink, and also to women, wink, wink. So uh, decreased arterial stiffness, those are the benefits of intermittent fasting. Now talking about male and female hormones, fasting, interestingly enough, lowers testosterone, lowers sexual desire, and lowers frequency of intercourse. Not a lot of literature on this, but I guess I would say the most likely reason is that if you are fasting, your body is in repair mode. It's in a mode where it is it, biologically you would know that the answer is not hey i'm looking to find a mate and uh, have intercourse or procreate uh, i need to find food i'm hungry and that is the beauty of intermittent fasting that it allows just a total resetting of the system of the body so there's different types of fasts i'm not going to go into everything here but i think these are kind of the main ones water fasting juice fasting and as i mentioned before there's religious type fasts I think water and juice fasting are a great way to go. There's three options that I would start people off at, and maybe you wanna kinda of ease your way into it with a 16 hour fast. So in that scenario, you would skip breakfast, for example, Therefore, you would go from dinner the night before, and then you would not eat until lunch the following day. If you skip the dinner, then you have lunch, and then you skip the dinner, and then your next meal would be breakfast. And I love breaking any kind of fast with a with a greens drink, either a fresh greens or a reconstituted organic powder drink. 24-hour fast, this is certainly very common dinner to dinner. So Saturday night is your last meal. You do not have breakfast on Sunday, lunch on Sunday, and then you have dinner on Sunday night. But my personal favorite is the 36-hour fast. Saturday night is your last meal and then you have nothing all day on Sunday, nothing on Sunday night, and then finally you break it with a healthy greens drink on Monday morning. Tips for fasting, you gotta relax. You have to relax, no work, no stress, light activity, you can go outside for a walk or maybe a mild bike ride, but nothing heavy. And my favorite thing, of course, while I'm Fasting is massage, massage, massage. Um, take a nap if you would. Also, take a nap uh, is fantastic. That's letter E. Then you want to drink quality water or the organic juice. Aim for 1.5 gallons of water per day. Just drink as much water and you're going to find that you want something uh, you're used to eating something and you're used to drinking, so you're going to be thirsty and you're going to be drinking a lot. Plan on urinating a lot also during the night. 
uh, it's one thing that I find is that I, when, when I'm drinking a lot of water, obviously it stands to reason uh, uh, that you urinate a lot, but I think certainly at nighttime it, uh, it, it really collects. Uh, otherwise, if you're juicing, once again, this is not a diet. So you can drink as much fresh greens juice as you would like. You can make your own juice. You can buy the juice prepackaged, hopefully in glass and not plastic. You can use some kind of reconstituted powder. So that is my tips for fasting and heart healthy cardiac uh, fasting, which is so tremendous for your heart health. Talk with your doctor, talk with your holistic provider, send us an email, let us know what you think over at thedoctorswolfson.com.